Ah. Today's video is going to be short for two reasons. One, um, I'm a little bit tired. I get open in the morning. I've had a few, but not many. Yes, I know. It's bad to drink when you have to open. A few beers ain't going to kill anybody. People have to realize, well, everyone does their own damn thing. And not everybody is, well, everybody fucking else. So let's muscle our way through this couple of minutes here. Because I told everyone, well, like everyone watches my fucking videos. <laughs> oh, that was both funny and hurt a little bit. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Never mind. Anywho, the point is, you know, just lessons that I've learned um, from my father, from my mother, who oddly was absent a lot when I was a child. Not like a good portion. Not like a little. A fucking lot. But who cares? A lot of people have it worse. Point is, you know, during the holiday season, a lot of people always, you know, family's most important. This is most important. I'm sorry. Um, even people who call out of work. Now, I'm sorry. This is going to upset a lot of people, but this is my opinion, not fact. None of my videos, except if I say water's wet. Uh, I don't even know if fucking dogs actually change their saliva out every 30 seconds like there's fucking things that do that i don't know it's just what's said but this being my opinion on family on rules regulations all that crap you know the holiday season has people thinking about family has people thinking about um what's okay what's not okay my thing the only thing that's not an opinion that is a fucking fact people shouldn't be alone during the holidays and people shouldn't have to fucking kiss people's fucking asses during the holidays. If you're family and you actually genuinely give a shit, because believe me, there's quite a few family members that I have that are blood related to me. Uh, I could probably put a bullet in them and not feel sorry. Now, I'm not saying I'd kill anybody. Relax, YouTube. I'm not saying that. Let's start right off now by saying I'm not going to murder anybody because violence is despicable to me. On any way, shape, or form. I fucking hate it. I've been through enough as a child. You know, my old man smacked me around a good bit. But it's made me a better person for it. Because I realized what the fuck's the point of violence. You know, I got my ass kicked as an adult even. And it just, it doesn't interest me anymore. You know, I like to play a big game of I'll kick your ass. But in the end, I do more damage to me than anybody else has in my fucking life. You know, if I could show you my knuckles, uh, Christ, I'm not even sure if you can see a little gleam right there with a little white spot. I pulled a piece of glass out of my fucking knuckle. Uh, shit. Uh, a little bump right there where my dog bit me. A couple other ones where I've head-butted fridges so hard that I have a permanent gash on the side of my head now. And not gash, I'm sorry bump a little indentation for i just kept hitting shit no i'm sorry it's on this side there it is which you know when i shave you can actually see it's a line right there point being i've done more damage to myself but back onto the family issue um as far as family goes i'm sorry you know i hate to say it like this but there are some family members that i put a bullet in their leg just to watch them limp away and say leave me the fuck alone i mean as far as i'm concerned my grandmother who passed, uh, Sadie Carpino, was one of the only fucking family members I actually cared about in 2015. And I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. She just passed uh, last year, 2016. I keep forgetting it's 2017. Time passes too damn fast for this old fucker. I'm already turning 34 this year. But uh, my mother, my father... I got a, two younger brothers, oldest son, uh, older sister, a sister who's obviously twins with my uh, one of my younger brothers, and then another little sister who is, holy shit, I ain't seen her since 03, but 
that's something that uh, I really don't want to put on YouTube other than I ain't seen her in 14 freaking years. Sorry, ain't, haven't. Ain't is the contraction of am not, so I am not seeing her would be a really idiotic statement to make, but just how distracted I was there for a second. Sorry. But, uh, you know, because there's a lot of family members that I couldn't give two fucks about. Those family members I do care about. You know, three sisters, two brothers, a mother, a father, my grandmother I did. I got an uncle I ain't seen, haven't seen in quite some time. Uh, Texas, another uncle up in uh, New England. I don't know where he's moving to. Basically, it's just this whole disassociation that family has to be the number one priority. I'm sorry. I'm going to burst people's bubble here with my personal opinion. Family has to be earned. Now, if you've ever seen a TV show called Scorpion, the mother in that who's the con artist, I'm sorry. I'd have put a bullet in her freaking leg myself, watched her walk to the people and have them kill her and watched. Anybody who raises a kid like that needs a bullet in the head. Period. I'm fucking, you know, you don't teach kids that way. Now, you want to screw me over as an adult, I'll be mad. But you don't screw with kids. As the holiday season comes up, a lot of people will say, well, forgiveness. Because the episode was a Thanksgiving episode, the first one that I saw, the mother load. But it just, it got me thinking, reflecting my own brain and just analyzing shit. And I'm not going to mention their last names, but some people that I consider family, even though we're not related... You know, there's an Ashley I used to work with. She was a manager at my job a while. Uh, Darlene. And I even asked her out once. Um, you know, because I love these people. I mean, they're family to me. I mean, now they are. Now, uh, there's a Joshua, which I know my name is Joshua. There was another guy named Joshua. I mean, a few people and Anna, who I always thought was a very sweet girl. Uh, there's a Bobby. And I know I'm only mentioning first names mainly because obviously the people know who they are and no one's ever going to watch this freaking video anyway. <laughs> Sorry, again, brain fart. There was an Anna. I mentioned Bobby, Josh, um, Darlene. Jeez, head rush there. High blood pressure again. Anywho. Um, also Facebook friends I have. There's a Perry that I consider a close friend. He lives out in jolly old England. And don't worry, obviously Perry isn't really freaking specific. I mean, like people are gonna be like, oh my god, he's Perry and he lives in England. We know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Anywho, there's a Monica who lives out in Oregon. And these are people that, you know, I would lay my life down in line for because these are people I know, I've communicated with, I've talked to, I've heard them, they've heard me. And just because you're not family doesn't mean there's not a bond. There's not something there. And I hate people who always say that. There's also a Morgan. I'm sorry, I almost forgot her. Man, you know, mainly I'm a freaking sucker for stuff. You know, she's one of the only people that really did something good for me in my life. In 2015, she made a birthday cake for me. And most people will say, well, you're a sap for that. And it's no, something like that sticks out, not bought a birthday cake baked a birthday cake and call me old fashioned but a woman does something like that it means that you have a special place in her heart i mean we're not gonna freaking hook up get married and fucking have kids together i'm not saying that i'm just saying when a woman does that she's saying you know you're special you're a good person and to deserve someone baking a cake is just I and mean, that's one of the things that really kept me from my own depression when someone bakes a cake for you I mean, just because. And that didn't take blood. That didn't take years of knowing a person. It's just, you know that person. Because I've always been that kind of guy where I see somebody, you have a friend, and that couple of second interaction doesn't mean much because, you know, that person's mean at first or a douche at first or this or that. And to wrap up this video, because we're already going on nine and a half minutes, well, actually, nine, nine minutes and 40 seconds. But anyway, that just because you're blood-related doesn't mean you have to shit on them or love them. Respect, honor, and love are three things. You can't steal, you can't buy, and you can't con. You have to earn 
respect, love, and trust. I'm sorry. Respect, love, and trust. Jesus, my brain is fried. No, it's not because I've been drinking. I've only had a few. It's mainly because my fucking head is in a fucking nutshell of fucking chaos. And because half the time I hear freaking voices that keep talking to me, so it's distracting as fuck. Yeah, one of the perks of being schizophrenic. Awesome. Anywho. <laughs> but respect, love, and trust. They're just things we'll honor. So you have four. But four things you can't lie. I mean, you can't steal. You can't cheat your way into them. You have to earn them. And people have earned those with me. And a lot of people know that, yeah, I'm going to be there. Because I see these people for who they are. And most of the time, they're good fucking people. And that's it. So just because you're family doesn't mean you're the fucking shit. And just because you're fucking a stranger doesn't mean you can't be family. Because there's a lot of friggin' friends, some that I just mentioned, that I'd lay my fucking life down for or kill for in a fucking heartbeat. So during this holiday season, you know, I mean, be with the ones you really want to be with. Not family because you feel guilty. I'm not saying shoot your family members. But in closing, you know, be who you want to be. Be with who you want to be with. And, you know, fuck it. Be happy.